Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today I will be giving you a tour of my IKEA pegboard which is right behind me. So about a week ago I decorated my room, I just redecorated like just this part of it as I wanted to do more sit down videos and I wanted to make a really nice backdrop. So it is finally complete, it's finished. If you haven't seen those videos make sure you go check them out before and you will see everything I did. As well as that I also have some fairy lights so if you wait until the end then you will get to see how it looks at night time and honestly it just looks so magical. Magical. So the pegboard is right behind me as you can see however I'm only showing just a little bit of it a sneak peek and soon I will show you the whole th So the pegboard is right behind me and I'm going to get started with the tour But before I get started please make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up And as well as that make sure you subscribe down below So you never miss when I post a video as I post about three upwards videos a week so Sometimes I post three, sometimes I post five But there will always be a minimum of three videos a week And you do not want to be missing them So make sure you subscribe down below And also turn on your notifications So you're never late to another video And I'm going to get on with it now <laughs> Okay, so when you walk in, first of all, I have got my portable LED ring light here and it has three different settings, one, two, three. And as well as that, you can adjust the brightness on it. So you could turn it down, you could turn it up and off. And what I love about it is that it just clips straight onto your phone. And then under here, I have got a lint roller just to roll away any like that on my clothes. And then here, I keep all of basically all the spare pegboard accessories. I have about five of these hooks, two of these clips, and then there's another one there. So that is what is right there. And then if we move along, we have got these colourful pens. And I use these pens on my whiteboard. If you would have seen my Plan With Me video, then you know that I use these pens. I love them so much. They have such different colours. They're really bright, vibrant, everything. So those are the pens I use, and they're just hanging up on a hook. And then over here we have got a box of tissues and behind that box of tissues is actually my portable toothbrush holder which looks like that and then i keep my two remotes for my led lights so i have two different led lights if you wait to the end i will show you what each of them do basically and then here we just i just keep like some spare hair bands and as well as that i have this tool which is for like pushing buttons so you don't have to basically push them because of coronavirus and everything and then we come up here so then over here next we have got some washi tape and i literally have it in all of the different colors as you can see i just got these from b&m but it was like um a long while ago and i just put them in rainbow order at the end you will see a theme on each side of the boards and then we come over here, I have got a hole punch to hole punch my notes and anything, a screwdriver in case like um, I need to take out the screws because these boards, they have like screws in them right there, I don't know if you can see it, and sometimes I might just need to take them out. And then I have got two packs of tissues here, that one has like one left in it. And my tape is here, I don't know why but I just really like it in a clear holder. And then I have this fake plant, like it just looks really aesthetic. I don't even know if that makes sense, but I just really, really like this plant. And then up here, I have got this kind of like container, but this one slides out and I just have like jewelry, bracelets, um, clippers, stuff like that in it. Then over here, this part is actually my favorite, one of my, well, I can't really decide on a favorite part, but it's probably like these because I use them the most. So here we have got these like, I think they're called mid liners. But basically, they look like this on one end, and then on the other end, they look like this, and they're really good for note-taking. And I just have them in a variety of different colours, like yellow, blue, pink, green, black, like every colour. And then if we come over here, these are my whiteboard markers. So these, I don't really use these ones as much as the ones I do down here as these ones they're like they're thicker and i just like the thicker grip so these are my other whiteboard markers which i use but i do use these ones sometimes as they have as they have different colors for example the light blue as you can see there it's light blue but it's just coming up as like kind of the same blue as that and then there's also a different shade of green and then there's light green and there's also pink which is here so if i need more than one color then i will use those and then we come over here these are the stabilo pens and i just use them for like when i'm note taking for my titles and stuff so if i step back this is what the board looks like 
and up here is my ring light and it just has sponge in it so it doesn't scratch my pegboard so i'm going to move on to the next part of my pegboard and you'll see a bit of a theme again and comment down below which theme you like the best okay so i'm not even sure where to start but i think i'll just start here so this is um i don't even know how to describe it it's basically like an m as obviously my name starts with an m and it's made out of metal i put these flowers on there but unfortunately i ran out so it's a bit unfinished but it will be finished soon and then in here we have got like exercise bands resistant bands i also have some spare face masks in there as well um and my like other stuff in there stuff which i need for like sixth form it's literally um that's what it looks like a wheelie desk tidy bin and anything which just didn't like look nice just fit the aesthetic i just put it all in there so that's why those are there and then if we come over to here we've got this big pouch this big gray pouch but on top of it first is my pencil case and in case you're wondering what's in my pencil case i actually have a video about what's in my pencil case so first of all when we come over to here um i have two packs of blue tack in here um i actually use blue tack sometimes if i'm hanging up like posters but as you can see they've fallen down and then i have a spare pencil case it literally just has felt tip pens in it but i never really use it and then I have got a big pair of scissors and I just like to keep them in here as like scissors are sharp and big and it's a bit dangerous to have them out. And then I also have another pair of scissors. And then I have got another resistance band but this one's not tied up so yeah. And then finally I have got a pair of goggles there. So that is everything which is in there and I'm going to put the stuff back in now. And as well as that when my calculator is not on my desk it's either in my pencil case or I just like keep it there on top, just kind of like out of sight. So I'm going to put my pencil case back up and I think I'm gonna go up here. So here in this container, we have got rubber bands, a tape measure, and there's also a few hair bands in here. I don't know if you could see that, but there's hair bands there. In here, we have got my pins and paper clips. So originally they came in this thing here, but they just ended up all spilling out and I thought it would just be safer to put them in here. So they just stay in there. Um, nothing really fancy about them. There's two different types. There's round ones and there's flat ones. I quite like the round ones. And then we come over here and I have got a charger. However, this isn't like a normal charger. Basically, if I zoom into it, it has like a USB-C an apple cable and then under there i can't quite take it off but there's a samsung cable on there so it could work for like over three devices and then coming over here i really love this journal so 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 much it's honestly helped keep me organized and i cannot express how much this helped me so this is what it looks like it's again my favorite color blue and it kind of matches with my laptop i don't know if you can see the resemblance um and but behind it is it falls down every time and behind it is a spare pack of paper mate ink joy pens um yes yeah, so i'm just gonna try and put put those back up and i just keep the pens behind there so i know i'm not like using too many pens at one time or not opening new pens so that's why i keep them and then coming up here okay so now we finished down here and we're coming to the top shelf here so i have got a ball of yarn and i do use it i use it for example if i just want to tie something up or sometimes my led lights i just might want to like put them in place and i can't really clip them in place so i do use this ball of yarn and it's just there and then afterwards i come to this part so the pins which you saw down here they were originally kept in here in the top compartment but they kept spilling so i moved the rubber bands from the bottom compartment to the top compartment and they've just been in there ever since and i just have some bulldog clips in here rubber bands and then the paper clips are here and then moving over here i've just got like my face mask and i have got this sharpener it's nothing really fancy about it. it's just like a sharpener and i have got some vaseline here and then when i step back i've got a ukulele so that is what it is there don't mind that that's just like rough scribbles and then at the top here it's not really part of the pegboard but it just stays up here is my kind of mood board that side has all of like my goals and stuff so i'm not really going to show that but this side i made like an m with the led lights so that is it for the pegboard 
this is what it looks like when you step off fast sorry about the lighting and now i'm going to show you what it looks like with the leds on so i'm going to wrap this video up here thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and also make sure you turn on your notifications as well and follow me on all of my social medias down below as i regularly update you guys on there and i also post on my like social media on my instagram i post like reels posts everything so make sure you follow me on instagram and i will see you in my next video i'm going to turn the lights on in three two one